Hey Gems, it's your girl Stylist Raven and if this is the first time to my channel, all I can tell y'all for today is that I'm super excited because I have tons of purses um, and I know on Fridays it's when I'm supposed to upload about purses or luxury bags or just whatever and I have not, I was kind of going back and forth like was I going to do a collective haul, a brand haul, do it individually and I think today I just decided to showcase one purse in particular um, and also I'm going to throw in a shoe because that was the whole reason that I got that purse um, to match with that shoe. Go ahead watch to the end if you like my content then thumbs up this video and comment down below so that I know you're here so that we can get to talking. So I am going to read the deets off the paper for y'all because I just am. Alright so today the lovely um bag in question is this one now it is noted as a wallet this is jimmy shoe and this one is the onesie wallet with the chain i u y royal red and silver when i saw this i just thought it was absolutely gorgeous okay the leather on it is just i mean it, it's everything um the inside is really clean really chic i love my bags my purses my wallets my totes everything to kind of have like a really polished um nice look okay you have your inside zipper here um of course all of your things that lets you know for real that this is what it is that is your certification certificate of authenticity so as you can see i have yet to wear this one out so i'm just gonna go ahead and take off the lining i really love the crystals right here on this bag the jimmy choo um right there london on there it's pretty i mean, hope that my lighting is giving what this this bag is giving but it may not so the overall composition of this wallet is 87 percent calf nine percent brass four percent crystal um, the outer composition is 88% calf, 8% brass, 4% crystal. And I got it directly off of the website, so I didn't go into the store. This beauty was $918.01. Okay. Well, the price was $850, but with tax, $6801. It came out to $918.01 because I was looking like that's a weird, weird price. So the cost of this wallet is $850. $50 okay now in addition I told y'all I was gonna come in because everything about this the leather on this it's really supple it doesn't feel like it's just gonna crack or wear down or anything like that I made this purchase back in February 17th so this was like my v-day gift to myself right um, however I also bought these beautiful sexy shoes on the same day i got them to kind of match i did not want a patent leather bag although i had a patent leather uh shoe so i i don't know but i just felt like i wanted my my bag to get more wear out of it and i felt like with it being um with it not being patent leather I can wear it with more things however with for this shoe i did not care once i saw this shoe I was like, oh my God, I have to get it. I know that it was 120 millimeter heel, which is almost like what, 4.7 milliliters. And I was just like, I don't care. Um, it kind of, I don't want to say it resembled the Soul Cape from Christian Louboutin because I completely stay away from those. Um, not for any other reason. It's just, I just don't like that high of a heel anymore. So right now this would probably be my highest heel that I have. However, I could not pass up on this shoe to go with this bag, okay? um so let me give y'all the deets on the shoe now i will tell you this really quick before i go into the details um i have not worn these shoes out of the house when i wear these shoes my stride is very short so i'm still trying to master this shoe i did have them stretched i sent them off to the cobblers and they did stretch it because i just felt like the leather was so it's so good right but it was putting it on it wasn't giving it wasn't stretching enough for me so i sent them off and had them stretched they sent them back 
and they were perfect however anytime you have genuine leather patent leather anything like that you know they will go back so you have to keep like a stretcher in them which I did um, I kept the little thing in there to keep them stretched out and the more you wear them they will eventually give and break in custom to your foot so this is not a heel for your friend to come over or your daughter your children because I have daughters and they love to put on my luxury heels um, for them to come in wear your foot your shoe this is one that you have to just keep towards you now I will say at one point I was about to just put this this thing in the closet with some other little things like for decor because walking in her mm, is is whew, it's a challenge but I have made it upon myself that I am going to wear my shoe and not store it because I have never stored a shoe for decoration before. So we're not going to do that with her because she. this is a bad, this and this purse, bad. So let me give you all the deets because y'all know I'll, I'll go on and on. Let me give you all the deets on the shoe. So this is the Anouk in patent leather and it's red. Um, this shoe was $650. Tax was $5201. So I paid $7201 directly off of their website. Um, like I said, I bought them last year. And the overall comp composition is 87% leather, 5% plastic. I think you pronounce this Salpa, 3% and metal. Mm -hmm. And the outer composition is 100% calf leather um of course the the country of origin is italy and i just refuse to send them back okay so i'm gonna film me trying to walk in this and film me wearing the bag and i mean that's pretty much my i would hate to say like it's a um unboxing for the simple fact that i had i've already owned them and i've kind of worn them the shoes around the house I have not taken them out of my house yet so as you guys can see I really like the bottom of here I'm not sure what this is but it almost feels like some type of felt um, the toe is very pointy on here so I did go up to a size 40 in these um, just so but the bag I literally the bag now that I've done this video I will be wearing this bag you can dress this up or dress it down jeans a dress um jumpsuit you know whatever it is that you want to wear it with me personally i don't plan to dress it down but i mean you can if you wanted to take this one somewhere formal you just tuck this chain in okay and carry it like the wallet she is and i mean so i don't know y'all go ahead y'all thumbs up this video y'all let me know um how y'all feel about all of this and i'm gonna go ahead and get to walking in this shoe in the room not far probably just gonna stand up and let y'all see it because yeah she that that shoe this shoe is that girl get into this wallet <laughs> 